white shirts with um iron with, on? no no because it was white shirts with black lettering or uh, pixelated you know whatever that's called that that form of printing um if you use screen the, printing no like yeah, i mean usually you would just screen print this but um it's like a, a dot instead of grayscale oh, okay. it's just using smaller dots mm-hmm. okay. to make grayscale um but it was if i got the white paper to print on then i would just be this chunk of white Mm-hmm. So printed it onto like laser paper, and then put a solvent on the back of it, and then press that onto a shirt, and then yeah, would uh, one and then would use a, an iron after the solvent had evaporated to to release it. You so, made them, of course. Yeah, I made them. It's and yeah. I messed up several shirts, so I had like I had I think two of Doug because it just wouldn't work on Doug's face for some <laughs> reason. Like just like was Doug was going on, yeah, like. <laughs> So I had like several sh- where his face is just distorted to one side. I think I gave him to Goodwill. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, someone's walking great. around with Doug's That's face awesome. somewhere. I actually almost and and pulled it out last minute, but when Water Park wrote the musical um, Cement Boy, we had three three characters who wore I Heart Cement Boy t shirts that I made. Oh yeah. And I almost put it in the Goodwill bag, and then I was like, no, number one, I've got to keep that forever, and number two, like. Who's gonna buy an I Heart uh, Cement Boy shirt? Uh, <laughs> lots of people. Like, like you go to Goodwill to buy a shirt that has some random shit on it. Sometimes. So like, yeah. when, when we graduate from T and M, we get you know, gifts. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I still, I still have mine. Um, do you still have your? I do. It was like chicken? a rocking yeah. horse for Patrick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was yeah on video. So I still have my oh, cannonball. Yeah. 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 Wait, he Skyped in or? Yeah, well, he pre recorded because. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he was having a. Or yeah, his wife was having a kid. Was it when he was having the baby? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Way Wild. That's been a while. Yeah, yeah but he I, wanted to record um, that's awesome. one for Chris and, and say, like, thanks, good job. I haven't been to fun. any of the other graduations for any of the other theaters. Do they do standard graduations? Oh, like I don't know. That? Um, actually, I'm going to segue into that to the next theater hmm. I'm going to talk about. Uh, Tell which, us a story. Yeah, that's the next theater that I I was going to graduate from Cold Town because I, I had a level three credit I could take, and I was like, uh, you know, I'm satisfied with graduating from New Movement because I almost didn't graduate from any theaters. So, but then I was like, I'm just going to use this credit for Cold Town, and I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to graduate from any other theaters. Anyway. So I, <laughs> I go to level three, level three class, and I love my class so much, I just decided to stay with them. And it was a huge class. I think like 12, 14 wow. of us. Wow. And I just continued on from level three all the way up until it was literally just five of us left. So then, you know, after the level six, um, was the, st- the same graduation style like this, except mm. we didn't get the toys. Okay. You know. Well, yeah, like teachers speak for you. Yeah, so like, exactly, okay. which I thought was cool, which was interesting because I... But thinking about those, I, I, I was, like, imagining, because I, I always, like, I was, like, okay, for, like, new movement. I know it's Amy's going to speak about me because I had her the most. And then it was Patrick, and I was, like, oh, that's awesome. Like, I thought it was Amy, but I still touched. <laughs> so I was, like, for this one, like, Cold Town, I still had it pegged. I was, like, okay, it's going to be Cody Deering because I had him for two classes. Plus, I sat in on another one of his class. Mm. And then it was, like, uh, who spoke for mine? It was Frank Netcher. <laughs> Frank Netcher. I don't know if you know him, mm-hmm. but yeah. from Cold Town. Yeah, he's been... Sure. Yeah, he uh, he. We were on the same IFL team uh, back in 2015. They called the Harry Ransom notes, which basically <laughs> the the form is is um it's like short form games, but like we're all prisoners and somebody in the sound booth would make us do games. <laughs> basically, that's like like that. It's a saw, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he spoke at my graduation. But uh, that was awesome. So I graduated from Cold Town, and I was like, okay. I'm not graduating in more theaters. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, Merlin Works, they had a diversity scholarship. Mm. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so um, since, I only, since I only took levels one and two, and the scholarship was either for the short form or the long form, and I decided for the long form, they skipped me from level three, and I started from level four. Mm. And I did the level four, I finished it, but there was like a, there, there wasn't enough people, so it stopped right there. So I was like, okay, maybe eventually I'll finish it. And then I took institution level five because they actually had a grad, they had some grad classes. And I stopped at level five and I was like, okay, I'm going to stop there. And then Tom Booker had like a huge discount for like level six. Like, I think the biggest I ever seen, like, I think it was 90 something dollars. Mm. And I was like, holy crap, I got to take this. Yeah. Right. So that was my <laughs> third theater. Cold Town and. Coltown and um, Institution both happened in 2015. 
uh, new move, uh, new movement with 2014. For for those people that are keeping track, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got it down like the month too. You have a very you have a very good memory. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so somewhat. Uh, so yeah, the, so I, I did my level six there. Um, it was like at the institution. Cause I, I remember missing one of my uh, sh- troop shows. I was like, well, I can't miss I can't miss my graduation right, show. Right, right, yeah. And um, Tom Booker, he uh, he briefly spoke spoke about me and everything. So that was awesome graduating from there. And then the next year was 2016 for Maryland Works. Which was interesting because I was there was two times I wasn't supposed to graduate from there because I did hardly barely had the money <laughs> even with the scholarship yeah yeah like I was literally like I was like I, I remember the email I was like hey guys and this was a year which I was literally 2016 for those people that don't know my sister passed away in January mm. uh-huh. and it became a rippling effect to where because of her funeral and because of my mother's source of income eventually we got evicted. And I was staying at my my other sister's place for a while, and then I was kind of bouncing from hotels and this and that. And uh, I like Merlin, work, which was interesting, like kind of like still trying like to do shows. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and even yeah. for for the first several, I'm gonna say two or three months, people didn't know my sister passed away. Sure. Like I literally was just like staying busy, just doing that. And then um, I guess to fast forward to like uh, I guess May for Merlin Works, like I I wanted to graduate with him, but I whew, I didn't have the money. And then uh, Kevin Miller's like, hey, you know, I can do payment plans, and, you know, you just pay me whenever. Yeah. So I graduated from Merlin Works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, awesome. which was, yeah, it was, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a rough year. <laughs> it was a rough yeah. year, but it was a busy year. It was, it was interesting. Um, outside of improv, it wasn't good, but inside of improv, it was a lot of good things. I, I graduated yeah. from Merlin Works, uh, which it was, a, it was, it was the, our showcase was actually like a, a high school theme thing. Which Kevin Miller actually loaned me his jacket because I literally could not afford it, <laughs> afford the jacket. Like a Letterman's jacket. Yeah, he oh, literally yeah. Le- he literally oh, loaned yeah. it to me. And uh, what else was happening? I was a uh, I was in a short like uh, momentum where I was on winning teams. Like I was a uh, God. I was on three. I think two student battle royal teams at the hideout. Uh, IFL at Cold Town 2016, which also was on the same day as my birthday for Lover Boy. So hmm. that happened. I with my troops sure go out of purple. We were like three time throwdown champions at Cold Town. Mm-hmm. We became I uh, new knockout was the first ever Megafest champions for for the megaphone uh, megaphone marathon shows. I I can't tell you how happy I was for that so so badly because I I was doing the knockouts and like I was this was at the time where Roy and uh, Red were like running it. Yeah, yeah. And those two times I remember like there was one show at the time. I was with uh, my troop called Character Explosion, and I think it was our worst show ever. And mm. I was like, "Oh god!" And then Sugar Water Purple, we had somewhat of a weird, bad show in a knockout opening round. And I was so, I was, <laughs> I was so like down. I was like, "Man!" I, I remember like one of my troopmates like, "Chris, it's gonna be all right." I was like, "Man, I wanted to win." <laughs> yeah. So when I got to the, when we did the 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 Mega Fest thing, it was uh, me, Nathan, uh, Samantha, Step. Is there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I think she now moves to Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I think I think she, she? I know she moved. I think she, she moved. moved. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, Samantha Joseph Stallman from McCall Town. Right. He also took some uh, new movement classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else was there? Because there were six of us. Oh my gosh, I, can't, I feel bad. I forgot her name, but she's at the other new movement in New Orleans. Hmm. Oh. I feel bad. I forget. I'm gonna remember her name when I get home. <laughs> and um, Patrick. Patrick not, nicely uh, oh. he was there and we won that and I was so happy that we won that it, it, there's actually like a little small video that you see the confetti everybody's <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just like oh, you know yeah and um oh, so the confetti yes <laughs> so let's see I guess what else was going on during that year there's a lot of stuff going on so I guess we fast forward to the last theater hideout yeah 2017 which was interesting because the hideout um I took level one back in uh, October 2013, and uh, but I had this huge gap, yeah, literally yeah. a huge gap. <clears throat> like I would take a class and then a hiatus, take another class, hiatus. Yeah, like yeah. Hi- hideout was like literally the one where I have the biggest hiatus. Hmm. I, I asked uh, Andy because Andy knew me enough because I also TA his classes levels one through three. I was like, Andy, can I can I skip levels two and three and just go to level four because I already I'm TA this, I already yeah. know this and 
plus classes are expensive. <laughs> I just said it last part, but it yeah. really worked. Well, and I already did what four four theaters. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to experience this though, but uh, I had, so Andy he skipped me to level four. This was back in 2016, so I I took a class level four with a uh, Valerie Ward. Then I had another hiatus, and then this year for a level five I had Courtney Hopkins, and then I had another hiatus, and then and then this is the interesting part, like. The hiatus would have kind of continued on this year, and then I got a message from Amy, and Amy says, "Hey Chris, I like to interview you. Well, you know, whenever you finish the Mitch." And I was like, "You know what? Nice. I probably should go ahead and just <laughs> just crash your point. Peer pressure. Peer. Oh. Peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, th- thanks to you. That's so funny. Honestly, believe it or not, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have not graduated from some theaters, or probably wouldn't even be here. Believe it or not, like oh. I wouldn't have came back from the new movement." I like literally like I wouldn't have came back for level two. I, or at least at least not early. I wouldn't have came back to new movement. I wouldn't have probably finished. You know this year I probably would still be putting it off. Like uh, I'll, I'll do it. Well, I've still been talking about it. So <laughs> I'm glad I, you're the first one. Yeah, yeah it's literally I. That's literally the main reason why I wanted to finish it just to get this interview. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I kid you not. I wanted to be interviewed. That's so funny. I mean, obviously, I wanted to be a bitch, right, but right, that was like yeah. my that yes, was like my point. Why? That, you know, yeah. You know, the interesting thing about that though is that um, I the reason why I contacted you is because somebody it was like you know people talking around town about oh there's going to be a Mitch grad soon. I said oh who's it going to be? And they said Chris Villafano. And I was like, well, what a perfect person to be the like center of all the improv theaters because you're like. So you give off this vibe of like total acceptance. You're such a nice guy. I've never seen you um, do anything but yes and everyone on stage. Like, and so when I found that out, I was all like, perfect. And even even as other people do it as well, you being the first one mm. is a great like example of the the theater at large. Like, I mean, the theater scene. All five theaters, everything that's being done in improv in town. Um, if people were to watch you perform, they could see that everybody in all the theaters are like just preaching kindness and being mm. good. Because when you're on stage, you take care of people. You're got great ideas, and like you said earlier, you go to shows. That support mm-hmm. is so important to like be there for every theater in the audience as well as on stage. I mean. That's just that's just dedication to a, a community that not many people really truly have. So I mean, you deserve it. I'm oh, glad you. that you did it, and and I'm proud of you because, you know, like I said, you're the best example of Austin improv. If we had to put one person to represent all of us to say, well, watch him, and and he'll show you oh, what geez. any theater could possibly oh. teach, you'd be you're a great example of that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and it's like the. The story you just told is like, the it wasn't just an even road the whole way. There was so much up and down oh, to it. Yeah. It's like somebody, you know, it's like it could have just been somebody who just has like a trust fund and doesn't have to work <laughs> and just has enough money to just do it really fast, you know? Like, because you don't, nobody's really going to stop you if you just yeah. keep doing it. All those trust fund improvisers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, so yeah. many of oh, them. Yeah, no, it's like you it's can just like, buy get all your this money stuff. and put it away. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Quit giving it to oh. theater. Oh. Are any of them single? <laughs> 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 Next time yeah. slash the first time I meet a trust fund improviser, <laughs> I will bring them directly yeah. to you and be like, Great. "Are you interested in yes. Patrick's?" <laughs> as a as a type have you of ever had a Patrick date. before? Have you been? Are you interested in Patrick's? Because <laughs> um, if you are, I have one available for you. you I mean, you got to care about improv to do gently for as, used. Well, as I, for as long and. You know? I think it, yeah you do you gotta really love it I, I think you also have to be a teacher and then you have to be insane and honestly <laughs> you really do I mean that took wow. a lot a lot of money some savings definitely some intern internships because I I interned at New Movement Coal Town and Hideout yeah. and payment plans and yeah. scholarships oh my gosh yeah <laughs> it takes a lot <laughs> I like the yeah. idea too of like you also caught every single like coupon and like you <laughs> you won one because it was like every possible way you could get I know. class. The world was not allowing you to stop doing improv. I know it, was it literally like, wasn't. Oh, were you going to take a hiatus? By the way, you won a class. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Disney could like 
buy the rights to that story and like straight up like pull some heartstrings. I think that was uh, right. Yeah, and at the was... very end, when you're not sure he's gonna end, yeah. he's had some rough times. He's he's yeah. working through some really tough stuff.